Okay, so after having a look into TDE or Transparent Data Encryption, where we discussed at length about how you can encrypt data at rest. I'm again repeating, it is encrypting data at rest. Now is the time to take a look into how you can encrypt data in transit. So now when I say data in transit, what do I mean by that? So what I mean is that you are a client, right? You are requesting a data from your server. So when that data is traveling from the server to the client, it must be traveling via the network. Now, if a hacker comes and tries to take a dump of that or from the network, it tries to inspect the data packets, then the hacker can actually view the customer data. And guys, I will actually show you in a demo that it is pretty much possible. So it's very much important that when you are working with data in transit, then you need to encrypt your data packets that are coming from the server to the client and vice versa. So that's where the data in transit comes into picture. And for that, Oracle gives a native solution, which comes out of the box, which is called NNE or native network encryption. Now, NNE comprises of two things. One is encryption and also data integrity. So encrypting the network data provides data privacy so that unauthorized parties cannot view the plain text data as it passes over the network. So as I gave you the example, if you are a client and you are asking the server to send some data over, that data would actually be sent in a plain text format. Anybody can grab those packets and look into the customer data. That's why there is a need to encrypt that data. That is one thing. The other thing is Oracle Database through NNE also provides protection against two forms of active attacks. Now, when I say active attacks, these can be data modification attack or this can be a replay attack. Now, what can be a data modification attack? As the name suggests, let's say I'll give you an example. Let's say an unauthorized party who is intercepting the data in transit is let's say altering it or changing it and retransmitting it as a data modification attack. For example, let's say there's a transaction going on for say a hundred pounds or hundred dollar bank deposit. So the hacker is actually changing that amount to $10,000. So instead of hundred dollars, changes it to $10,000 and retransmits the higher amount which we will call it as a data modification attack. So you modified your data and then you sent it back uh, to, to, to the client. The second type of attack is the replay attack. Replay attack is that there was one transaction, you start replaying that and start retransmitting that again and again. So that you intercept a $100 bank withdrawal. So you're withdrawing $100 from somebody and instead of doing it once, you start retransmitting or replaying it a number of times. That's what we call the replay attack. Cool. So just uh, some more bits about NNE. Um, guys, uh, earlier, the NNE used to be part of advanced security option where you had to pay extra license to Oracle. Not anymore. So uh, the uh, NNE is free. So if you are using Oracle database then you, or Enterprise Edition, you, you don't have to pay for uh, the NNE. It's no longer part of uh, advanced security option. Second thing is, as I said, you can encrypt the data in transit, which NNE provides. The entire configuration is actually done in your sqlnet.ora file. And I'll show you uh, when we do the demos. That's It's a very, very simple configuration that you have to do in, in SQL Netatora. And uh, these are uh, like around the four parameters and there could be more parameters, but for, for a basic NNE2 function, uh, these are the set of parameters that you have to specify. And they are actually related to encryption server, encryption type server, where you give the algorithm, which is AES-256, which is like the best kind of uh, algorithm that is provided for encryption. And then you just do a crypto checksum and crypto checksum uh, type server. This is more related to the data integrity side of the thing. So first thing is encrypting the network traffic. And the second thing is 
ensuring that data integrity is there. So that's why these four set of parameters will help you to configure NNE and we shall uh, definitely look into a demo uh, and we'll, we'll perform that. So thanks for watching guys.